Welcome back to quarantine. It's Cash Night again with another ranking video. My best, my worst to best. You know, having made that mistake just then, I, I'm thinking, have I been saying best to worst or worst to best? What I mean is worst to best. So I hope I've been saying that and uh, I probably have mentioned it. Anyway. But uh, we're going with Ugly Kid Joe today. They haven't had many studio albums. Um, so I even threw in the EP, but there is one that I haven't heard, their, their latest release, which was t five years ago, 2015, I, I was meant to get it, something must have come up and I forgot and just forgot and forgot and forgot, and I never got that album, I never heard that album, um, and that was uglier than they used to be, um, so I can't include that because I haven't heard it and I haven't got it, obviously. Obviously, if I had it, then I would have heard it. Yeah, so um, we're skipping that one, unfortunately. I'm going to stick that on my list of things to get. I'll we'll check that one out. Um, so we're going to start off with my least favourite album. To be honest, uh, they are kind of weak after the first album. All right, so going to the third album. Third album, Menace to Sobriety. No, it was the second album, second studio album. I keep getting confused because of the EP, the first EP. Um, this came out in 1995, right? Nice, nice little cover there. And uh, by the looks of things, it had some sort of dedication to that guy. I'm not too sure. Um, there are some songs on here which, which do kind of... They are all right. Um, you got Intro, God, Tomorrow's World, Clover, Cust, Milkmanson. Oh, Milkmanson's all right. Um, Sucker Path, Cloudy Skies, Jesus Road of Harley. I like that one. Um, 1010, VIP, Umpa, which is a very... How would you describe it? It's uh, the Umpa Lumpa song. But it's just, it's really sort of scream, not screaming, but deep, like screaming. Oompa! Yeah. Just slow, screamy. It's funny, but then once you've heard it twice, it's just like, nah. Uh, Candle Song and uh, Slower Than Nowhere. Not much else to say about this album. Not really a fan. Um, doesn't really do it for me. Uh, it's 1995, so, so what can you... What can you expect from 1995? Not a lot from what I've heard, from what I've heard physically and what I've heard from people. Right, so that's uh, my least favourite. Followed, this was a debate, which one was worse? Uh, Motel California. Obviously a play on Hotel California. And this came out in 96, so on the same tracks um, really I should have put these in the other order but then they should be in release order kind of um, it's a lie dialogue sandwich is the only one I like off here um, rage against the answering machine obviously it's a, a bit of a you know against rage against the machine a bit of a you know screw you or whatever maybe maybe I don't know I haven't heard this this album since I got it. You know, I heard it about twice and then it's just like, nah, mate. Uh, <laughs> Would you like to be there? Little Red Man, Bicycle Wheels, Father, Undertow, Shine Strange, 12 Cents. Actually, this should be at the bottom of my list. I'm remembering it. It was terrible. This this is my worst, right? I'm changing it right here, right now, live-ish. Whenever you look at it, it's live right now. Right, so that's my least favourite. That's my second least favourite, so now they're going in a kind of chronological order. Typically, it just goes, you know, they get bands that just get worse as they progress. It's, it's real bad. Right, um, next up is the EP. All right, as ugly as they want to be. Okay, I threw this in just because there's only three albums. If I had the, the latest album there before, so it's not much. So I threw this in and... Um, it's good. It's good. You know what number one is. But you got Madman, you got Whiplash Liquor, Too Bad, Everything About You, Sweetly Funky Fresh Country Club and Heavy Metal. 
Um, I think pretty much all of these ended up on the debut album. This came out in 91, um, sort of as a demo, but you know, mm. the good old funky kid kicking a cat. Oh no, he's not kicking it, he's shoving dynamo up his ass. Funky kid. I wonder if he ever had a name. Kind of looks like uh, TSE. It's the kid version, TSE. Um, if you know TSE is, it's a uh, Eskimo, which I worked with. It's not actually an Eskimo. It's just a, a name. That's uh, the logo is a, an Eskimo. I worked with him, and I said Avit. And yeah, recently released Avit. Uh, so check that one out. Good song, not my thing, not really my thing, but I thought it was funny anyway. So I got involved. So uh, number one, could have guessed. It's probably the, the only album which really holds true to Ugly Kid Joe. You know, this is this is the album. If you want Ugly Kid Joe, you just get this album and that's the best. Um, no, actually, not everything from the EP was on here. Okay, this came out in 92. All right, Neighbor, Goddamn Devil, Come Tomorrow, Panhandle in Prince, Busy B, Don't Go, So Damn Cool, Same Side, Cats in the Cradle. It's a great song. But at the same time, I hate it. Um, it it touches it, it really touches you somewhere. That sounds so wrong, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, you listen to the lyrics, and I mean, I got kids now, so that's where it really kind of gets you. you know? While you're busy working and your kids growing up, you're missing out on it, and then you get old and you got time to spend with them, and they're just like, "Nah, mate, don't want anything to do with you." Um, so that's uh, it's one of them songs, and then uh, I'll keep trying everything about you. The breakthrough song, loved it when it came out, absolutely loved it. Recorded it off the radio onto I think it was a Peter Pan cassette. I figured out how to uh, you know, cover over the little hole in the top of it so you could record over it, and just got, got the radio, everything about you, everything about you. Um, loved it. And Madman 92 Remix and Mr. Record Man. So not everything made it. Yeah. Whiplash Liquor. Oh, that was the B-side. That was the B-side to Everything About You. Um, too Bad didn't make it. Sweetly Funky Fresh Country Club didn't make it. And Heavy Metal didn't make it. So uh, there you go. Check some of them ones out because that's a good good EP. Very strong EP. And that's uh, even stronger. Debut album is brilliant. Um, it's fun, it's got all that angst as well, it's, it's just there, you know, forget the, the, the grunge angst and I hate the world, this, this is where you want to be, it's the fun I hate the world, but yeah, that's my, uh, my ranking of Ugly Kid Joe, obviously apart from the last release, if I get that I'll try and, I'll probably re-record it and no, they won't be any different. They won't be any different. Well, they might be because it depends where the, uh, the latest album fits in. But you know, I'll just I'll just show this one. This is the one that I missed out. It would rank in number whatever. But yeah. So uh, if you have any, uh, if you would rank it differently, please comment down below. See what you think. It'd be nice to hear. Um, if you agree, if you don't agree, what do you think of Ugly Kid Joe in general? And if you like what I'm doing. It's always nice to hear. Um, drop us a like or a dislike. Yeah, probably dislike, man. Dislike for half of the, the albums. Like, Cash, you got bad taste in music. You ain't even seen half my music. That's nowhere near half my music. It's just I gotta find everything. I used to have everything so organized, and then I had kids, and there are CDs everywhere. In the wrong order, which really does my head in. But uh, for now, enjoy your lockdown, enjoy your quarantine, and um, stay safe. See you next time.